oysters. You either love them or you don't. I'm kind of on the love <laughs> side of okay. this, but uh, one of Roy's folks has a taste for creativity, and as Fox 8's Chad Tucker shows us, she's turning oyster shells into works of art. So they, they come in here, and they're nice and clean, and they look like this. Most of us it's throw like oyster here. shells away, but not Virginia Washburn. And even the kind of crazy shaped ones, you know, they're just, they all have a purpose. For over a year now, no matter how rough they may look on the outside. And these are North Carolina oyster shells. She makes them shine. Because even though they're imperfect, they're still perfect, just like we are. She first gives them a deep cleaning. I mean, oysters are bottom feeders, so they're full of bacteria. I bleach them twice, yes. Then she opens up their possibilities. And I'll typically will do about three coats of paint. This nurse and teacher by day. I'm a hands-on person. At night, finds the shell's beauty. Last Christmas, it was, you know, I couldn't really keep up. Between the shops and people wanting to buy them, you know, as gifts, you know, to go off from there. And she's made just about everything. From nativities to ornaments. Yeah, this is the shell tree I've started decorating. Um, Beautiful ornaments that have a special story behind each one. Just want people to know they're being thought about, you know, and that somebody's thinking about them and praying for them and, yeah. you know, that they're not alone. Because just like us, our imperfections make us all special. And I like the nice deep cup ones. I like the flat ones. They all have a purpose. Even if we, well, don't like to eat oysters. You don't eat any oysters? No. You don't eat oysters? No. You're not a fan of oysters? No. In Jamestown. I tried them. Looking for Roy's folks. I ate a few and... Chad Tucker. It's just not my thing. Fox 8 News. So relaxing. I just love it. You can find Virginia online at Perfectly Imperfect by VA.com.